they gave the little kids extra time to practice. <laughs> size 10, size 10, and size 7. <laughs> You're right, George. The size is written on the back. Good eye. They could find the shoes quicker if the size numbers were in order. I bet everyone will pull a lot better now that they've got the right shoes. I got one! I got one! <laughs> oh! Whoa. I'll get it! Ow! This shoe is really small. Huh? Lucy and Charlie's shoes were all size 10s. Both Janice's shoes were size sixes, and Bill's shoes were both nines. So why did they fit differently? Huh? Hey, George hadn't noticed these colored signs before. There was a blue man, a red lady, and green children. They were the same colors as the shoes. Uh -huh. Maybe the different colors meant they were different kinds of shoes. The shoe with the number in green was the smallest. Ah. Green numbers must be for children. <laughs> the shoe with the red number was a little bigger. Hmm. Red numbers must be for ladies. Ah. The shoes with blue numbers were the biggest of all. Ah. Ah. Blue numbers must be for men. When you match the numbers and the colors, you got two shoes that were the exact same size. Different colors mean they're different kinds of shoes. <laughs> How'd you ever figure that out? You're pretty smart for a city kid. <laughs> My right shoe is too small and it won't let me walk straight. <laughs> Jimmy already has two shoes with the same color number. So what's wrong with his right shoe? George couldn't figure out what was wrong. The shoes were exactly alike. Could that be the problem? <laughs> Jimmy was wearing two left shoes. I've got two left shoes? How did I not notice that? <laughs> <laughs> George had finally sorted the shoes perfectly. Yes! Ready, George? <laughs> he even found the right size for himself. fundraiser was a huge success, and the Bobolinks got their nesting ground. <laughs>